Good day, everybody. It's Chris Gilmore here from Changing World, where our mission is helping you be practical, prepared, and positive, and develop peace of mind and confidence in a changing world. So in this video, we're going to be exploring ways to improvise water catchment systems. Often, if we have a major disaster, say something like a flood or a hurricane, we're actually inundated with an excess of water. And sometimes the last thing that we're thinking about is where do you actually get water? Now, clean drinking water, that's the problem here. So if the uh, disaster or situation you're in ends up going kind of beyond 72 hours uh, or beyond what you've stored and stashed water away from and all of, let's say, the municipal water is contaminated for, with the flood water, uh, the water coming under your taps might not be any good anymore and there might not even be electricity to run it uh, and most of the water out around, um, around the landscape has all been contaminated with flood water as well. It could be full of petrochemicals and who knows what else. We're going to start with talking about how to collect rainwater. So there's many different ways to uh, harvest rainwater and the system I'm going to show you right now is really great because this is stuff you could probably salvage from around your home or your house and if you can't salvage it around your home uh, this is stuff you could actually go out onto the landscape and salvage. A lot of these pieces you could get from an old construction site maybe even from garbage bins and from alleyways. So what we need for this one is something to collect water on. So I've got a sheet of plastic here uh, something like a tarp could work um, any kind of large flexible surface that you can catch water on. We need a couple of weights. So I've got a brick or even an old piece of concrete. Could work like that, an old piece of cinder block. We're going to need some rope to tie this all together. Um, it's always helpful, although not essential, to have some sort of tool. So I've got a multi-tool that has a knife on it. And I need something to collect the water in. So I've got a five gallon bucket. These are absolutely awesome in emergency scenarios. Um, so many things you can improv with them, but you could literally take like an old coffee can if you had to. There's a million things you could improv with this. And then we're just gonna need something to fasten this down to. So I'm in an outdoor area here where I've got a porch. So I'm gonna fasten this catchment system off to my porch, but you can literally rig this up on the balcony of an apartment, uh, a variation of this. So you could set this up almost anywhere. So I'm gonna go over one quick little piece of like how am I fastening the rope to the actual tarp or piece of plastic to begin with. And then I'm gonna build it really quick and then we'll chat about how it works. Cool little trick, get yourself a little rock off of the ground. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the corner of this piece of plastic, you're gonna stick the rock in it, and then you're gonna twist that around a little bit, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab a piece of rope, and I'm gonna tie this knot called a clove hitch. Uh, I'm not gonna go over how to do the clove hitch right now, um, but basically I'm folding this, I guess I am doing it quickly. I'm folding it over on itself twice, two little loops, I cross them over. You can look up how to do a clove hitch online. Uh, animatednots.com is a great place to learn the clove hitch. And that allows me to crank that tight. Then I'm just going to tie it off with a little half hitch. And suddenly I'm able to fasten off that corner. And if you're using a traditional tarp, I find this is actually a lot stronger to hold up to really strong winds than the grommets that are often already in tarps. You'll find those grommets often rip out in a storm, whereas this is actually a lot stronger because it's grabbing, holding more surface area there and we've doubled up on the actual plastic material. So I'm gonna set this up right now. Uh, I'm also using a ladder to, to fasten the bottom of this off, up, but there's all kinds of ways you could improv the bottom piece and we'll get to that in a minute. So there you have it. Here's one version of an improvised water catchment system. As you saw, I'm using my ladder here to basically hold this bottom end, these two corners up, which then allows me to pull the middle part down into the bucket. I've got a counterweight on the bucket there. Uh, these are fastened up at the top, so when it rains, the water catches on my sheet and flows down to the bottom into the bucket. Um, obviously this water is going to have to be purified afterwards. Now generally you can collect rain water, uh, assuming you're not dealing with like some sort of toxic smoke plume or something like that. Most of the time rain water is clean to drink as is. Uh, but in this situation we are going to want to purify it afterwards, probably by putting it through a sediment filter as well as uh, boiling it or using some other uh, way to purify it. Just because the tarp itself is not necessarily going to be sterile nor is the bucket that we're putting it into at this point. Yeah, I did, you might have noticed there that I did have to weigh down the back side of the ladder because the weight of this pulling forward wanted to pull the, the ladder in. So I just threw a counterweight back down there. Um, if I didn't have a ladder, I could literally 
lash a tripod together up here to do the same thing out of a couple of sticks uh, that I could either take from my place, salvage from a local forest, I could use three two by fours, a bunch of construction waste. Uh, really, once you get into that survival mindset, the sky's the limit as far as what you can actually create if you're creative and know what end objective that you want. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about emergency and disaster survival and re-empowering the human spirit in these changing times and changing climate, check out changingworldproject.com. Remember to sub subscribe to the channel for more links and stay prepared, practical, and positive uh, so you can develop peace of mind and confidence in these changing times. Cheers, everybody. Thank you.